Hello everyone. My name is Dhanunjay Reddy Manne. I am part of Informatica GCS team. In this presentation, we will be going through the steps how to create Databricks ODBC connection on Linux for running profiles in Informatica Cloud Data Integration. Moving on. Uh, today's agenda is explanation of the steps, demo, creating connection from administrator summary. Moving on, uh, we have three main steps that is creating a cluster in Databricks, retrieving the ODBC details, install and configure the ODBC driver for Linux demo. Uh, let me go through the steps uh, in detail. Uh, first one is to install the Databricks ODBC driver. You can click on this link and based upon the system you are using, you can download either your RPM or deb. 32 or 64 bit. Uh, next, we need to create a cluster in Databricks. Uh, for me, the cluster is already created. Uh, we can follow these steps and create a new cluster if you don't have. Next is retrieving the ODBC details. Uh, from the here, advanced options, we have JDBC or ODBC. From here, you can retrieve the ODBC details. Uh, moving on, next step is to install the odbc drivers for linux for this one um, you can go through this link like first we have we need to download the data uh, databricks that we have already done from here next one is you need to follow these tips uh, first step is to install unix odbc you can follow this document and you can install the unix odbc Next one is uh, to download the latest driver that we have already done. Next one is the install ODBC driver that uh, you can run this command and you can install if you are using RPM and if you are using dev, you can use this command. Uh, for me, I have installed already and it is uh, the directory is already created. Uh, let me show you that. Inside lib, I have the driver already present. Here you can see I have the list for code EBC 64 driver, which is used for connecting. Uh, next, uh, we need to locate the odbc.ini file. We can run this command and locate the odbc.ini file. For me, it is present in slash etc odbc.ini file uh, just a second let me show you that file let me show you that odbc.ini file uh, here we can see these are the details we have specified that we can get it from the document like we need to specify odbc data source and data bricks we need to provide the driver path uh, these are the detailed configuration parameters about each parameter and this is a sample uh, i have created one already and this is the one uh, here the driver path which i have shown just now it will be on opt simba spark lib 64 the spark odbc 64.so next the host name these details you can get it from your data bricks advanced option this is the host name port protocol https path and these i have used here, port, post, HTTP path, and the remaining parameters we have configured according to the documentation, like the SSL, thrift server, authentication, UID has to be token, and password. Uh, you need to generate a token that you can generate it from your user settings and generate new token. And when you click on generate, a token will be generated. For demonstration, I have uh, given this dummy value. I will replace it with the actual token now. I have changed the token which I have generated. Uh, let me go back to the next steps in the documentation. Yeah, these are the steps we need to perform. Uh, next one is to create a connection from administrator. Uh, let me go back to the presentation creating the connection from administrator and filling the connection details. Let me go back to the demo. Uh, let me log into 
the IACS console and here I have already created one ODBC connection. We need to select the type as ODBC and you need to attach it to the runtime and username we need to provide it as token and password you need to provide it as the generated token and data source name and code page you can select and you can use ODBC subtype and the driver manager for Linux. I have already created all. Uh, let me do the test connection. As you can see, the test connection is successful. Sometimes we have seen the uh, users fetching this issue. Uh, for this, uh, you need to configure some uh, environment variables. These variables you can configure to resolve this error. Moving on. These are the references. This is the document which I have referred and this is the KB article which I have shown just now. We would like to hear from you on our social media handlers. Please give us your valuable feedback. Thank you all.